The Uprising sought to right the wrong in their final match of the week against the Philadelphia Fusion. These two teams were evenly matched across the board with their strengths and weaknesses being nearly identical in every way. Therefore, this game put everything on the line, especially with two teams fighting for their first win of stage 3. The Boston Uprising versus the Philadelphia Fusion was a game that, as predicted, kept fans on the edge of their seats. On Ilios, the game started on Ruins, where the Uprising chose a more DPS-centric composition with Blase on Doomfist and RCK on Sombra. Together with enough pressure, Boston broke down Philadelphia's GOATS composition and claimed the point first. Though Philadelphia fought back to reclaim it, a massive EMP from RCK allowed Boston to sweep them away once more. Again, when the fusion retaliated, RCK used his EMP to make sure that Boston could claim what was theirs. An amazing ult combo from Color Hex and Blase dominated the round and gave them their first point. The game continued at Lighthouse, where Boston was also able to take the point first. They held steadily for nearly 55%, however, after a failed EMP from RCK, the fusion were free to take the point for themselves. When they engaged once more, nearly everyone used their ultimate to try and find some ground. The only real impactful ult was a good Graviton from Color Hex. From there, Fusions cleaned up the team and Boston claimed the point. An angry Blase on Doomfist kept them at bay and Boston won the map 2-0. On Paris, Boston was under attack first, rolling out in another DPS heavy composition. With Color Hex on Widowmaker, Kalix on Mercy, and Blase on Farah, they approached quickly. But in the blink of an eye, Boston had made their stand on the first point and quickly captured it. From there, the second push was slightly stalled out. Their initial engagement failed, causing the team to switch back to GOATS. Their second engagement earned them two ticks in a frenzy of ult abilities. Though the members quickly dropped, Color Hex stayed up. Through his grab, he got the necessary picks, and Boston finished their second point capture with just under two minutes left in their bank. On the defense, Boston chose a bunker comp to hold the high ground. However, Sato had different plans. With an aggressive dive, they wiped Boston from the map and took the first point. From there, the second point was a steamroll. With Carpe and EQ on Sombra and Genji, a well-timed EMP and Blade wiped Boston once again. Flexing on the Hanzo, Blase got a very important pick on Neptuno. From there, the Uprising were free to take the first point. With very limited time left, their switch to the GOATS comp had to be quick. Running across the point, RCK EMP'd at exactly the right time. By waiting until after Carpe had already used his ult, the Uprising were able to get more out of their attack. The EMP helped them wipe Fusion off the board, and in overtime, they capped the second point. Boston's second defense was another bunker composition, with Blase on Bastion. Philly's first attempts at an attack were stalled by a triple kill at the hands of Blase. However, the Fusion struck back. With EQ on Genji, his blade destroyed the Uprising. Despite the fact that they took first point, Boston managed to shave off two minutes off their time bank. From there, the Fusion nearly steamrolled into the second point and captured it with ease. The day. There wasn't enough follow-up damage to make the grabs worthwhile. Blase eventually is going to be ground down by Carpe and RCK. He's just trying to make himself scarce, try and stay alive. Shout out from us, uh, from Sado, should I say, went about as far as Timbuktu and about as close to anyone in particular, but it doesn't matter. The Boston Uprising are going to be shunted off here, but that clock is still dwindling. If Boston can get Philly down to zero, it will be big. Don't think that's going to be possible, but still. Boston's third attack left them a minute to make an impact thanks to their defensive hold. However, an early pick on the fusions cost them their push, and Boston was unable to make any progress. Philly's second offense finally gave us a Carpe vs. Color Hex Widowmaker battle. Because of their poke damage choices, however, the fusion couldn't reach the point and the map ended in a draw. On Hollywood, the Uprising were up at the half and tried to seal the deal on Hollywood. Sadly, their attack didn't go as planned. With a Sombra Goats comp, Boston sought to shake things up. A good EMP from RCK let Fusions get some picks, and their only push allowed them a tick and a half on the point. From the high ground, however, came Poco. With a grab, he wiped the team and Boston's attack was ended. Boston tried Somber Goats on the defense as well, but it didn't hold up that well against the Fusion, seeing as Carpe was fragging. It took only one push and one very angry Sado for Philadelphia to make their mark. The series was tied as Boston lost the map 0-1. to On Gibraltar, Boston had their last attempt to rally a win, and they attacked first on Gibraltar. It was slow moving at first, but they managed to push the payload under a bridge. In terms of the Zarya matchup, Carpe was getting more value out of his grab than Color Hex. This allowed Fusion to hold Boston back just shy of the first point as overtime ticked down. With the rolls flipped, Boston showed a strong defense at first, but for two minutes they prevented Philadelphia from making any real progress past the first corner. However, a last minute move by Fusions caused the team to go down. An ill-placed jump 
put the Boston Uprising in danger. Fusion easily eliminated the squishier characters in his absence. From there, the Fusion just had to clean up shop, and they progressed to the point. Boston lost the map, 0-1. Though this match meant another Boston loss, the series showed massive improvements from Friday night. With the map win and a draw, the Uprising looked to continue their upward trend. Next week, though, poses an impossible opponent, as well as a chance at redemption. Though Thursday night against the Shock will be a tough one to watch, the rematch against the Paris Eternal should bring out another good game. Hopefully they can put a win on the board by then. If you want more great Overwatch League content, make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that bell icon. Now, from our house to yours, thanks for watching.